What's going on, family? Welcome back to another installment of Kickback Conversations. We got a great show for you today. Um, to, I often hear that men, we say some stupid things, right? We say some things that we just shouldn't, we just shouldn't say, you know, especially within dating and relationships. We say some dumb things. So I was looking at this BuzzFeed article and it was talking about things that guys think are compliments, but they really are not that women hate them. <laughs> they do not, you know, come off well. So we just wanted to get right into it and just see what you guys think. And I'll give you my opinion as, as well. Um, so we'll go with the top 10 things that the BuzzFeed article had. And then I'm gonna give you guys some bonuses. Uh, some people I, <laughs> that hit me and, and communicated and said, you gotta put this in your show as well from some real world experiences that they've had with guys who thought they were giving them a compliment, who thought they were just so smooth or so brilliant, and they weren't. It did not fly over well, it did not go over well. All right, so number one, I could be with so many other girls, but I'm with you, babe. Fellas, how do you expect for that to come off? Like, what was your intent on that? Like, how did you think that was going to land? Did you think that that was going to be like, yo, I got, oh, yeah, she heard that, right? Yeah, she got that. Bro, that didn't, that didn't come off well, right? A woman does not want to hear how many other women you want to be with and or you could be with. She wants to just be, you know, make, she wants you to make her feel special. And I think that's the key. Um, I just don't think, I've heard of guys saying that, and I think it's just something that, just shouldn't be said like can we just put that out there like why are you saying that it's a bad look like i don't get it why would you want to say that why would you want to communicate that that way so that's number one i could be with so many other girls right now but i'm with you all right number two i bet you have never been told this but you're actually beautiful <laughs> yo when i read this this made me laugh because i was like wait a minute actually <laughs> Like, was he surprised when he said it? Was he like, just like, you're actually like, did, did like he expect for her to be like, wow, this is breaking news. Like, I never knew that. Like, even my mama don't think I'm beautiful. Wow, you, you think I'm beautiful for real? And your opinion ma matters over anybody else in my life. Like, even though we just started dating. Hmm. Wow. And you bet I've never been told this. So you bet literally through my entire journey, my entire dating life, that you were the only man who ever found me beautiful in any kind of way. You literally thought that you, you bet. Bet means you put your money where your mouth is. You put some dollars on it. You put some Bitcoin on it. You put something on it that, that you've, I've never been told that I'm actually beautiful. Sir. Like, how, how did you think that was going to fly? Like, did you think that was a good thing to say to her? <laughs> so I, I can't wait to read you guys' comments um, and see what you feel about it. I can't wait to hear you guys, um, you know, DM us. Please DM us at Kickback Conversations. Hit us up on Instagram. Um, just some comments and maybe we'll add you some your comments to the, to the show. But that is crazy. Number three, really cute for a black girl. Man, you really cute for a black girl. Or you're really cute for an Asian girl, or you're really cute for a Latin girl. Why does her background or ethnic ethnic background or anything like that have to do with her being cute? I'm, I'm just I'm asking for a friend. Really? And it's so funny. Like I've heard I've heard literally I've been around people who said this, and I'm like, what is he talking about? You know what I mean? <laughs> like we have to stop doing that. Like that is wrong on so many different levels and a lot of women um my sisters out there you know who've heard those you know those comments whether you're you know black asian um latino whatever wherever you, you know walk of life you're from um i'm sorry that that a guy said say that to you guys because i've heard that so much from women and clients that, that that's something that's something that they that guys have said and did not think that it was not going to go it was it was that was going to land well it was like yeah She's gonna be like, thank you, wow. <laughs> if I wasn't a black girl, like, you know, like, I don't think he thought it out. So that's number <laughs> number three. Number four, I'm tired of dating like 
the pretty model type girls. So now I'm going to date you. <laughs> Yo, this one took me all the way out. Like, he basically just said, eh, I've settled. <laughs> like, those those pretty model type girls, like, you know, I've, I've had my, my feel. Like, I'm good. I'm good there. I'm just going to date you now. Mrs. Scruffaluff. Mrs. Scruffaluffavis. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just going to date your basic self. Like, that's what he said. You know what I mean? Like, I'm tired of dating these model type girls. Oh, man, I'm just going to date you now. You know, like, I don't think fellas hear, like, hear it that type of way. Like, if women were like, I'm just tired of dating guys who are, you know, tall and attractive. I'm just going to date you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, or whatever. Like, it just, it just does not come out right. We got to do better, y'all. Come on, fellas. Ah. <sighs> killing me here all right number five and this is like two twofold it says you be pretty if you try it's kind of like almost the same thing when when guy be like when a guy's like talk, trying to talk to a girl and he's like yo man why don't you just smile for me ma why don't you just smile for your boy ma sir why does she have to smile to you what do you what do you like the the, the smile police you going around checking if everybody is supposed to be smiling out here? Like, are you giving out money for people who smile? Like, are you like the publisher's clearinghouse of smiles? Man, sit your behind down, sir. But it, but you pretty if you if you try. So you're telling her that she's made no effort in her look today. Zero effort. Like she has tried. Like literally, you just said she just got out of bed didn't do anything and was just walked outside and was like, eh, I'm not going to try. Come on. <laughs> and even if that was the case, because we've all seen people with rollers in their hair in a grocery store, but even if that's the case, bro, you don't have to tell her that, man. Come on, do better. This 2021, playboy, do better. You pretty if you try. Ladies, I want to hit, hit the comments up if you've heard that or if one of your homegirls heard that. And I, I want to hear what y'all response was. Like when a guy said, you you know, you'd be really pretty if you tried. Like, how did you how did you take that? How did you respond to that? I'm just curious. I'm, I'm, I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> oh man, we gotta do better. All right, we're gonna keep keep on pace. I got a lot, a lot, a lot of them I'm gonna go through for you. Number six, man, your body is comfortable, girl. I mean, it's like a couch. Wait a minute, did you just compare her body to a couch? <laughs> did you just compare a grown woman's body to a piece of furniture that you got from? Did you just do that? Did you think that was gonna land well? You, you thought that was gonna be like the, yeah, oh, he, oh, wow, I've never heard this before. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's original, <laughs> but why? Why, sir? Why? Like, no woman wants to be compared to a sectional. Like, no woman wants to be compared to a... <laughs> to your grandma furniture with the with the uh, plastic on it. I don't think that was... I don't think she wants. I don't think that was on her vision board. I don't think so. You know, I could be wrong, but I don't think that was on her vision board. All right. <laughs> um, number seven. And this is like the player of the year line. Like, I've heard this from my clients... Lying similar to this, I know women um, who've told me, like, guys have said this to them or guys who, like, kind of, like, pop in and pop out of their life. And they, they just they never know. Like, he's he's great when he's there, but then he's gone. And then he's like, you know, he's just never, like, consistently pursue them or consistently wants to be with them. You know, I've heard this line. Number seven, baby, I love you. I just got to make sure I really love you by trying out some other women. That is literally the line that I'm sure, like, the guy who was the originally, like, the Rolling Stone, who that song was written out the, after, any, anywhere that he lay his hat is his home. Because <laughs> you know the brother was out there. He was out there. You know, he was getting, come on, girl, you know, I got to just try a couple. You know, I love you, baby girl. Ain't nothing wrong with you. I just got to, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> make sure. I got I to gotta see. <laughs> you know, like, that's my, that's my old man player voice. You know what I'm saying? That's like my old man who wears Old Spice and has like a Jesus piece. And he like he wears like a fedora. 
And he always was like, how your mother and them doing? Yeah, tell her Willie Earls. Yeah, tell her Willie Earls about her. Like, <laughs> that's, my, that's my guy. <laughs> he had to use this line. I don't care what y'all say. That man had to use this line. Like, he is the dude got a lot of keys. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's the one who wears a linen two-piece, you know, to every jazz fest and, and picnic. You know, like, that's that guy. He definitely has said this line once or twice. The, I mean, come on. The chances are high. The chances are high. All right. <laughs> Number eight. Wow. You use that word correctly. Now, I'm going to say this real quick. I know some dudes who do not know how to speak to women, and they can be this way or that way. But I'm going to tell you, the, the grammar police that I have met in my life have been females. Y'all love to correct somebody's grammar. I'm like, I was sending a quick text. I didn't know that this was like a, a final for English 101 back in the day. Like, why are you the grammar police? You know, and I understand that some people feel like grammar, um, you know, or, you know, understanding grammar, um, you know, is a, is a is, you know, it, it, it correlates with intellect. But shorthand, people use shorthand all, I know some of the most intelligent people I know, Violet Victorians of their class, who use shorthand real quick, and everybody knows with text that, you know, autocorrect can hate on you. Autocorrect is a hater. I'm not gonna hold y'all, autocorrect is a hater. It will hate on your life. It'll say some stuff, and you're like, whoa, bro, I didn't even see I said that. I can see how that was misconstrued. But when somebody says, when a brother says, wow, you use that word correctly, He's coming for your life. He's acting like you're not really that smart. Nah, you really didn't go to school. Like your subject and verb really don't agree on the, on the on the normal. You know what I'm saying? Or he's telling on himself too because he's saying that he probably is around some some people who you know don't use their words correctly, and that's kind of what it is. So that leads me to. <laughs> Um, number, number, where we at? Number nine, nine, you are different. You are different. Most women I meet are stupid. Whoa. So what circles are you hanging in? Like, what do you think about these things? Like, how do you, how do you like, uh, you just, yeah. So are you calling, so most women you meet, so are you calling my mama stupid? Are you calling my sister stupid? Like, like that's how it comes across to and I just think that a lot of people just, they just, they just talk and they just do not think um, and carefully hash out what they want to say or what they're trying to come across. Or maybe they just not, they're not that bright, you know? So I know that was a, that was a crazy one. So I'm going to get out of here on the top 10 with number 10. I like that you're chubby. Woo. And see, I was I was sharing like I think that a lot of brothers who think that a woman's in, that woman's insecure, and he's trying to like finagle her to be her sense of security. So saying like I like it, you're chubby. I mean, it's, I'm good with it. Whatever. Like like she's gonna be like, wow, somebody likes my chub. Like you know, like I, I think that's what he maybe that's his game plan. I don't know. I just don't think it's a wise thing to say. I, I just I've always there there are certain things I think. When someone you're dating, you want to stay away from, brothers. Stay away from the weight. Stay away from the hair. Those two things are, eh, eh. And, and just stay away for like, from like making generalizations about them as being a woman, like those type of things. I just think that they're, those are faulty. Those are those are dead ends. That you're, it's not going to end well for you. It's not going to end well for you. Um, and I think some people just say things because they want to say it. Um, but hopefully the feedback that we're giving people and, and this is what I try to coach and help and help brothers is these are not good things to say. Like really think about what you're saying before you say it. Um, this is when you also have to have female friends too, because your female friends will be like, you said what? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Or your, or your sibling, like sister, you need people in your life to check you and people who, who will set you straight, get you, get you, get you back in order. Because all of these things in this BuzzFeed article are out of order. And I don't think any of the women um, who received it felt like this was a compliment for real. I think that these guys maybe are not very self-aware um, in what they, what they are saying. And, 
and they need to do better. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna get you guys out of here with some bonus ones that some folks, you know, texted to text and they said, hey, you gotta put this in the show. So we're gonna put this in the show. The number one bonus one, and I've heard this myself, and it's very similar to, oh, you're pretty for a black girl, you're pretty for Asian girl, you're pretty for Hispanic or Latin girl, whatever people say. I, I've heard, oh man, you, you know, you're real pretty for a dark skinned girl. And I'm gonna spend a little time on this one. I feel like we have as black people, complexion and those things are very sensitive subjects because of the history that we've gone through of, you know, going back to, you know, our history of the Willie Lynch letters, right? I mean, going deep, deep back of how they tried to separate us, right? One thing I love about being black is we have a, a myriad of different complexion, shades, colors. Like we, we do. I tell people all the time, being black, you got a Baskin Robbins full of flavors. You know what I mean? And they all good. <laughs> So I celebrate anybody's complexion and all that kind of stuff. I just feel like all of it's beautiful. And for someone to say, you know, you are pretty because you, you're pretty for a dark skinned girl, um, giving the, the impression that dark skinned women on, on the whole are not beautiful is just ignorant. I mean, it, it's just straight up ignorant and we have to do better. But some of that's taught too. some of that's taught because of the circles that they've been around and, and just not being educated on these on these different things and how hurtful, harmful that is to that dark skinned sister, um, you know, rocking herself, looking all good as she want to look. I mean, I just feel like that's just not the, the right approach to, to, to say that. Um, and it's just an ignorant comment. But I've heard that. I know you guys have probably heard that. Um, and I just feel like that's something we have to we have to get past that. Let's celebrate blackness and it's all of its beauty beauty. You know what I mean? Like it's all the different variations and colors like, man, we have so many different, um, you know, di the, the diversity of complexions. Let's celebrate them all like that's It's not higher ranking or hierarchy. And let's not get into what the main a lot of mainstream media and those kind of peop uh, people want to present. You know, we we are are celebrating what we what we see and what we love. And many of us have all types of complexions, so even within our own family, within our own friend groups, within our own, you know, churches or fraternities, sororities or whatever it may be. Like, I just feel like we have to celebrate that more um, and stop saying those kind of div divisive uh, languages like you're pretty for a dark skinned girl. Like that's that's just ignorant. All right. Another bonus one. <laughs> this one's funny. <laughs> You have nice sideburns and you have a sexy mustache. Bro, where were you going with this? Like, where were you going with this? I've never seen any woman who's like, oh, you like my mustache? Thank you. Facial hair has always been a man's thing, typically. You know, men, we've had this whole beard movement. I know I can't really grow one. I, I, I can grow a little bit of this, but I can't really go to full beard, sisters. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's just one of those things. Like, we have the beard movement, but we don't... But Women typically are not like excited about a mustache or their sideburns. Like that's not something that they like wear with the badge of honor. Um, so either you were being shady, you trying to you be you know be low key funny or whatever like that. But you weren't, and I'm glad that sister probably called you out on it. They probably didn't go out with you again. You know what I mean? <laughs> and she was like, "Thank you for this date, but I'm out." You know? So um, I don't know why somebody would say that. You know? I I just feel like that's not being self-aware, not being considerate, not being a human being, good human being. So what? So the last one I'm gonna get you out of here on is, this one had me on the floor. When they text this to me, I was on the floor. I was literally rolling, I ain't gonna hold you. I was, I was rolling. You look like you could cook. <laughs> Who says that? Who looks like they can cook? Like how do we, like, I'm just imagining like guys out with their friends, you know, out with your boys, you know what I'm saying? You seeing some girls and they out with their girls, they looking, you know, they doing their thing, you doing your thing. And you look over to that one, you like, nah, she can't cook. She like she be making ramen. Uh, that one right there, she like she make biscuits from scratch. Like, how does that work? <laughs> how does somebody look like they can cook? You know what I mean? Like, how, do, how is that supposed to be received? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand that. Like, do we, 
do we <laughs> on, on any level is that a compliment girl you girl you look like you can cook mm-hmm. i just don't understand it i don't understand why these brothers out here want to say things like that that will get them in trouble um like girl you look like you can make a mean pot roast Mm-mm-mm. girl you look like you know how to season chicken and, and, and make it three different ways you know what i'm saying <laughs> i ain't gonna hold you you look like you could throw down you know <laughs> oh like he didn't even ask, he probably didn't even ask her like what her name was he'd be like yeah how you doing excuse me you look like you can cook what's your name <laughs> like does she have like a i can cook t-shirt on maybe, maybe I'm, I'm leaning back his way but I don't think he had that. Like, this dude was just being, like, ignorant and whatever. Like, how does somebody look like they can cook? You know? I- I've even heard people say, oh, you know, she like she can eat. You, 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 you're trying to make, you're trying to fat shame somebody, sir. And we don't appreciate it. We're not going to stand for it. All right? <laughs> so these are some of the things that we are experiencing. I'm trying to put you fellas up on game. A lot of times the ladies have told me, Brandon, please give some advice to the guys. We are tired of hearing about what we need to do and what we should do from all these relationship experts and people, blah, blah, blah. Give some advice to the brothers because they out here saying some crazy stuff. And this article made me address it. <laughs> and I said, I have to put it out here because I can't have y'all out here just saying crazy stuff with these ladies because, you know, it, it's not going to serve you well. And, and, I, and I believe in love. I believe in bringing people together. Um, not uh, have people, you know, fall apart. So I want y'all to be more, um, more. Just, just, just take a take a breath, right? Um, just think about what you're saying. Don't be so honorary. Don't think you know everything, man. Like, just, just take a little breath and be like, yo, like, like, be more sensitive in what you're saying and how you might be coming across. Because you might be thinking you're coming across and you smooth and everything like that, and you leaving a path of hurt um, and destruction everywhere you go from the women that you've encountered and you're trying to date. So that's all I want to say. Please check out our Patreon, patreon patreon.com. Please hit the subscribe button right there. Um, (laughs) And um, to our YouTube, um, we we love it. Love it. Patreon.com is uh, patreon.com forward slash kickback conversations. Um, And we have this amazing thing we're doing this year. Um, We are trying to help single uh, parents and and kids, single parents. So if you just give at least a dollar, you can nominate somebody in your community, a family member, a friend who's a single parent, really doing some great things, and really just being be, be, being dope, um, just being uh, you know being a single parent, um, and and their and their kids too. So we want to nominate them. We want we want to this year be a be a blessing to somebody. Maybe they're trying to start their own, you know children's book they want to write or they have a, a dream or a passion or, or trying to fulfill their their vision board or whatever it may look like um we want to be a blessing to help them so by your by your donation a dollar a month and so it's a dollar a month you throw away a dollar you know what i'm saying like some of y'all go to the atm sometime and it's not even in your little network and you and you, and you, 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 you drop four or five dollars and you gave it to the bank and you ain't help nobody <laughs> so definitely patreon.com forward slash Kickback conversations, definitely support. We appreciate it. We'll holler at you. Love month. It's going to be great. We got some great shows coming up for you guys. Stay tuned. Peace.